Hello everyone, I am Shruti Vijayargi from BSP Solutions in the Excel financial category. Today I am talking about the price functions. The price function includes the following six functions which are price, price disc, price met, odd F price, odd L price, T bill price. So in this video I am discussing the three functions which are price, price disc and price met. The first function I am talking about is the price function. If your company needs to raise some cash and has determined that issuing a stock isn't in its best interest, you might borrow money by issuing bonds. Pricing bonds for sales is a very tricky business. In a sense, you are betting that you can earn a higher rate of return on the borrowed money than you please to pay your bond holders. Once you know the parameters of the bond you would like to issue, you can use the price function to find the break-even issue prices. The price function has seven arguments and these are, first is the settlement date. Settlement date is the date that you gain ownership of the security. Uh, that date might be different from the bond's issuance date, which is the date the bond is made available for sale. Next, we have the maturity date. It is the date the bond will be paid off. Next, we have the percent coupon is the bond's interest rate that is used to determine how much money is paid to an investor every time a coupon is due. Next, we have the yield. The yield is the bond's annual yield. In other words, the amount of interest that humiliates during a year. Next, we have the redemption value. Redemption value is the bond's redemption value per $100 face value. And in almost every case, this will be $100. Next, we have the frequency. Frequency is the number of coupons that are paid every year. So the value can be either 1, 2 or 4, which means that the coupon will either be paid annually, semi-annually or quarterly. And finally, basis reflects the way that how you count the number of days in a month and in a year. The basis zero value, which is the default and is what we are using, assumes a 30-day month and a 360-day year. And other options include option number one, which is actual, which means a 365-day year with 28 days in February for a non-leap year and 366 days with 29 days in February for a non for a leap year. Okay, so let's begin with the example. I have example of Excel price function where these are all the arguments. First one is the settlement date, then the maturity date, then the percent semi-annual coupon rate, then yield and then redemption value. Then frequency here is 2 which represents semi-annual and basis is here is 0 which means a 30 day month and a 360 day year. So price will be calculated by selecting the cell, type an equal sign, select the price function and passes the references of all these arguments. First one is the settlement date. So I select the, this date and putting comma, maturity date, comma, rate, comma, yield, comma, redemption value, comma, frequency, comma and basis. If you omit the basis then by default it will take zero. So everything looks good then press enter. So this is the price value for this data. So price value is important because it determines the bonds maturity value and the amount of its interest payment. So this function returns the price per hundred dollar face value of a security that pays periodic interest. The next function for which I am talking about is the price disk function. When you evaluate a bond either one that you are creating or one that you want to buy you need to evaluate its price. If you know the start and end date the interest you will pay and the redemption value, you can use the price disk function to calculate the bond's price. Okay, so this function does contain these arguments. First one is the settlement date. It is the settlement date 
that you take possession of the bond then we have the maturity date that the date of the bond's life that is the date it matures next we have the discount or we can say it interest rate and that is interest rate applied to the investment then we have redemption value that usually set to dollar 100 and then we have the basis the basis is how you count the days in a month and in a year the default value for the basis argument is zero and that is 30 day months for a 360 day year okay so let's look around the example of price this function these are the data the first one is the settlement date then the maturity date percent discount rate redemption value and two uh, basis which is actual by 360 basis that means a 365 day year with 28 days in february for non leap year and 366 days with 29 days in february for a leap year so how to calculate this function just select the cell type an equal sign select the function price this function and passes the references of all the arguments first one is the settlement date comma maturity date putting comma discount comma redemption value comma and basis so everything looks good press enter and we see the price per hundred dollar for bond but these terms should be 99.79 or 99.80 if i convert it into dollar so this function returns the price per hundred dollar face value of a discounted security next function i am talking about is the price made function one common type of investment is a bond that pays interest at maturity if you want to calculate one of these bonds you can calculate its price per hundred dollar of redemption value by using the price made function the price made function requires the following six bits of information those are the settlement date and this is the date that you make control of the investment the maturity date which is the last day of the investment when all money is due are payable then the issue date and this is the first day that the bond was initiated so it's the day that it was first available for scale then the discount rate which is the interest rate applied to the bond funds then the yield which is the amount of the bond pays per year and then finally the basis basis is the way you count days in a month and in a year so just calculate this by using an example price met function and here is the data this is the settlement date this is the maturity date issue date percent semi-annual coupon and then yield and basis so price met is work like this select the cell type an equal sign select the function price met function first pass the settlement date comma maturity date comma issue date comma rate comma in comma basis make sure all the arguments line up and they do and press the tab key or enter and displaying a value 99.98 which given these parameters is the fair market value of this investment so price met function returns the price per hundred dollar face value of a security that pays interest at maturity So if you have any doubts, you can ask me and if you like my videos, then thumbs up. Thank you.